trapped under ice. That is, um, in, in some cases to say, that is the new it band to be. Everyone's trying to sound like you guys. Hell yeah! Like everyone six months ago wanted to sound like the Ghost Inside and before them, you know, all these other bands. How does that make you feel knowing that you are the, uh, the inspiration for a new generation of hardcore? What do you think, Sam? I mean, it's hard to say if that's true or not, you know, that's, that's just, you know, potentially your opinion, but I mean... It's very flattering thing. It's flattering, yeah. Flattering thing for you to say. But yeah. if that is the case, uh, I would be proud to think that, you know, people admire our music enough to want to recreate a sound that is anything like it, yeah. you know? But I think there's a lot of, a lot of influences going on right now. I think, uh, I don't know, backtracks the shit right now, and that people aren't yet that's where I was gonna want to sound like. Back Take, offense to shit. Shit. Take offense to the shit. Take offense to the shit. Bad Track's got a new record. It's called Darker Half. Everybody's gonna have a new record that sounds like Darker Half in a couple months. You have to do that shit. T.U.I.'s got a record that sounds like Darker Half in a couple months. My records, our new record's gonna sound like fucking Take Offense. My solo record is gonna sound like Darker Half. Jertis and the Jertis Five. Jertis Five. The backup band. Word, I can dig it. All right, so out of all the uh, the frontmen in hardcore, if uh, if you justice. Derek Ski from Represent and the vocals from Harm's Way. Oh, we're, in a, we're in a three-way wrestling match at WrestleMania this year. I get Who do you think would win? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll get whooped. Um, well, it depends what kind of wrestling we're talking. I wrestled in high school a little bit, and I wasn't no bitch in the wrestling on the wrestling mat. You know, right. I don't really know what their what their wrestling shit is looks like, but uh, I I know personally that James from Harm's Way. He's a very strong man. He lifts a lot of weight, and he. Uh, he does like some mixed martial arts and shit. He does like, I don't know exactly what he does, Kung Fu or some shit, but he does martial arts and I don't, so. I think it might have a lot to do with who just wants it more on that particular yeah. moment, you know? Yeah. I think yeah. the, that has a lot to do with that. Man. I can easily say that I want it the most, though. Yeah. If that means anything. Want it the most? All right, word. In a, uh, in a time of hardcore, where it seems like a lot of the bands lack of, uh, they lack heart and they lack that family sense of, uh, sense of appeal and they don't really stand up for their scene and stand up for their hometown and stuff like that and uh, try and push hardcore in a, in a positive direction they try and make it into a more of a, a take it into a negative approach who do you feel is is, is still maintaining that that uh that good name that hardcore is uh, starting approach to whack. is a great band not together anymore but yeah, yeah i like that i think i don't uh, think they do that but yeah. <laughs> i think terror is a good example of that they, they keep surreal you know i was gonna say Bane. i feel like they've oh, lyrically yeah. oh, always yeah, been like Bane. a very positive band and uh Everything they, they do musically and, and you know like what they stand for, what they're about as a band, for a long time has been has a lot to do with unity and bringing people together and, and you know like uh, you know casting away that elitist mentality that some people carry that some people don't belong here. You know they're very like you know bands for everybody. Everybody's welcome at a band concert. You know. Word. Who do you guys listen to outside of shows when you guys when you guys are just chilling on the <clears throat> on the van? You know you. Driving from city to city, who are you guys listening to? It's really just a uh, audio buffet, you know, a true cornucopia of music. I mean, everybody here just has crazy different tastes. Yeah. I'd say I listen to a lot of like melodic, like punk music, like Bad Religion or like Pennywise or like Descendants or something. Justice listens to like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, I like you know I like like hip hop gutter shit, like real straight hood rat shit, talking about like killing people and shit, like you know. I don't know, like, you know, it's not like Vanilla Ice and shit like that, you know? Army of Pharaohs? I don't know Army yeah. of Pharaohs. But no, for, I feel like, I fuck with, like, Mob Deep a lot. Like, real obvious, like, like cool, like, cool hip-hop shit that everybody likes. Like, Biggie shit, like, Ready to Die is my favorite records. And I feel like anytime I get in the driver's seat, you're going to hear either fucking Infamous Mob Deep or, uh, or Ready to Die by Biggie. But then I also listen to a lot of, like, it, a lot of times if you hear, like, some, like, some whack indie shit with a girl singing that probably everybody else in the band doesn't want to hear, it's probably coming from here. Yeah, it's probably oh, rad like it? territory. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I like, I listen to a lot of spoken word, uh, which isn't music, but it's, it, you listen to it. Uh, I kind of hate that shit. I'm listening to a band, I hear somebody fucking talking, and it creeps me out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good thing that, you, you know, you're not driving then. I really <laughs> listen to my stuff. And then I like it, this, a Tell genre, shit. Like this genre called emo techno, <laughs> uh, which is like, it's like dance music, but emotional. You know, I mean, just, you can dance to it, but also you, it makes you kind of think about things, you know, just your life or other people's lives. I prefer uh, that. I prefer that over talking. A lot of yeah. different artists in that genre. I like Henry Rollins, but I don't want him talking to be in my sleep. It's fucking weird. Mm. I don't fuck with that. Those are my top two. Henry Rollins is a liar. Yeah. Is he? That's what he's, that fucking song, dude. I'm a liar, man. Oh, true. Yeah, that's, that's a badass song. song, right? That song's fucking awesome. Rose that's all spoken black, word. Sorry. I tried talking um, it's Trapped like in Ice and a Covering Liar by Henry Rollins. It's a band. spoken mm -hmm. word in music. And they were, they were feeling it. So. Word. If Trapped Under Ice was to cover any song from any 
point in time of music, what song do you guys think you guys would cover? We were just covering Beat on the Brat by Ramones. Yeah. Because punk rock is cool and the Ramones are an influential band on Trapped and Rice, whether you recognize it or not, we're a punk rock band. Um, we covered Crown of Thorns before. We covered Hey Breeze song before a couple times. The Last Breath. Oh, shit. Sure. We've done it a couple times. Early yeah, on. we've done a lot of covers, but... Yeah. What else? What's next, guys, for us? Uh, it's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I wouldn't mind covering the Ramones again, but... I'd do all the Ramones songs. Yeah. That'd be cool. Or Misfits. I'll cover a Misfits yeah, song. Yeah, Misfits song? Something yeah. off like Earth AD, like a fast, crazy yeah. joint, you know? Let's do it. What do you think we should cover? Um, I can I throw this out there? Yeah, Shockwave. Five Faces of Death. Yeah. Someone else has suggested that. I think Great. you guys should take something that you don't, you wouldn't expect to be a hardcore yeah. song. Like, take something from the Smiths. That's, that's his style. I like Smiths a lot. That's something what, you might hear me playing in the van. What did you want to cover? Uh, I wanted to cover, I had a lot of weird ones I wanted to do that people could kind of beef with, but I, that's like my thing is I like, I have the far out crazy ideas, and then we have people like Jared in the band to be like, yo, shut the fuck up, are you crazy, you know? Why don't like, you guys cover a song by The Cure? I would do that shit, I mean, I've probably suggested that at some point in time. I really wanted to cover I Would Die For You by Prince, and it's kind of cool, it's like, kind of like, the, like the, uh, what's that called, like an eighth note, like hi-hat thing, that's yeah. A cool upbeat song. It would be like jazzy, yeah. jazzy, jazzy, like circle pitch too. Kind of cool chords. I, I feel like it could, we could turn that into something cool. And then I'd like, I don't know, I suggest, suggested all kind of weird shit. I don't fucking know. Age yeah. of Papyrus by Turbo Negro. Theme song for Ooh. Wild Boys. I would do that. Yeah, I like cool. to cover Turbo Negro. Yeah. I actually had a Turbo Negro what shirt about? on today, but I lost Did you? it. You didn't lose it. Somebody backtrack stole that shit. They're fucking yeah. piece Jeez. of shit. And when you guys see this shit, return the same motherfucking shirt. Defeated, bitch. Piece of shit. Yeah. Trapped in the race and you're watching the Zach Lee <laughs> show, bitch. Watching the Zach Lee show, bitch. <laughs> Zach Lee. <laughs> it's the Zach Lee show.